Somebody said recently, I think it's a brilliant statement. He said, you know, the future is not what it used to be. When we were growing up, came from Europe, 1950, the mood in the Jewish world was very negative and pessimistic. The devastation of Jewish life in Europe felt like the world had come to an end. Everything was finished. It was over. Everything was destroyed. Maybe, maybe a few Jews will continue being Jewish, but it's finished. So to them, the future was secular. Amazingly, the future is not what it used to be. Today, anyone who's realistic knows that 20 years from now, everyone is going to be observant. 20 years from now, everyone will believe in God. Because we try to be secular, it doesn't work. So what can we learn from the past that will help us with our new future? There are so many Jews who are disappointed Maybe they used to be religious, they stopped, they tried it, didn't feel right. They're disappointed. If there is one thing that all Jews agree, and that's not easy, is that we are not good Jews. Ask any Jew anywhere in the world, are you a good Jew? My grandmother, from my father's side, she was a tzaddik. I mean, she was, but me, If you went into a church on Sunday, ask the people sitting there, do you believe in God? What do you expect they're going to say? Yeah. Are you religious? Well, <laughs> obviously. Go into a mosque. Ask the people there, are you religious? Of course. Go into a synagogue on Yom Kippur. Ask the average person sitting there, do you believe in God? You will not get a straight answer. Most people will say, hey, 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 I'm here, okay? God needs me in the synagogue I am given. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, wow, I'm so religious. I'm not religious. Oh, so you love God. I don't even believe it. So why are you here? It's in Kippur. Where should I be? He doesn't believe in God when he comes to the synagogue because God wants him there. That is so magnificent. That is so amazing. When is the first time God spoke to us? Mount Sinai. How long ago was that? 3,330 years ago. When is the last time God spoke to us? That was it. <laughs> that was the first and last time that God spoke to us in 3,330 years. And he basically said to us, be my people, be mine. And we said, yes. He said, great, I'll be right back. And he hasn't come back yet. You're sitting here because 3,330 years ago something happened at Mount Sinai? Of those 3,000 years, how many years were good years? Six? That's, that's exaggeration. <laughs> For the last 2,000 years, it has been one continuous misery and you're sitting here it is absolutely miraculous amazing if Mashiach comes now will we be embarrassed will he be disappointed will he look at us and say what's the matter with you how come you're not like your grandmother what happened to your mitzvahs he will not be disappointed he will be amazed because imagine a man says to a woman let's get married they get married and he says, make something to eat, I'll be right back. She comes back a thousand years later. He walks into the house, sits down at the dining room table and tastes the soup and gets really upset because the soup is cold. Not possible. If a man comes back after a thousand years and there is still a house, there's still a dining room table, a chair, a bowl of soup, this is amazing. Imagine that they had a few children before he left, and he hears them speaking in the kitchen. 
And one of them is saying, Papa loves chicken soup. It's his favorite. The only soup he ever ate. And the other child says, no, you don't know, you don't remember. It was vegetable soup. And they're arguing. And then the mother comes in and says, what are you arguing about? On Shabbos, he wanted chicken soup. During the week, he ate vegetable soup. That's what we have been doing for the last 2,000 years. If a father would hear that, would he be upset that they don't remember which soup he went? Or would he melt? They're still talking about me. They remember me. They care about me. They're arguing over me. The fact that we're still Jews, and we want to be Jews, and we want to be good Jews, we are the miracle. We have nothing to apologize for. We have nothing to be ashamed of. We are the most loyal generation in history. We're not the smartest, we're not the holiest, but we are the most loyal. Because we have no reason to be loyal. It's only our neshama. It's only the Jewish soul in us that just doesn't know how to quit.